morning, good afternoon.
Allen. Hello, Maike. Hey. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe this is a strange question. It's just popping up all the time now. I don't know where it comes from because I really but um um do you it's a very strange question <laughs> but anyway I'm going to ask it. Do no, you, I'm really curious. Yeah, do you also <laughs> like what is this? Okay. Um uh, I do you never feel like uh, lonely in this whole process of this um, yeah how you say it, of this mm. you can say mm. because in a way you know um, this what we experience, experience this what you experience mm -hmm. In a way, I'm so aware of it that it it's you cannot really share. You you cannot really share this because you know your experience is your experience, and I don't know where I I, I don't know. It's just now this is so. Uh, I was totally empty when I rose up my hand, like question myself, like yeah. There is not really something that now this uh, comes out. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful uh, question. Mm. You know, it's kind of, it depends on where experience finds itself. You know, it just goes everywhere and nowhere in a way and you know sometimes when it makes itself when it finds itself in that small identity of yeah. Michael Ellen then it could come up with ideas like that yeah yeah it's like oh I'm very alone and I'm actually not part of it or you know whatever it, it could come up with those things with those ideas mm. but what I, oh man, what I'm just, personally, what I'm so freaking grateful for is, because I guess because of all those years of hanging out in the space, exploring, you know, we've been exploring since forever, mm -hmm. that which knows that all those beliefs or thought forms or even sensations and feelings are just made up out of nothing 
then it also kind of it's more like it flies through sometimes it gets it stays for a moment <laughs> you have heard that expression you know leave your front door open and leave your back door open and then let it just move through don't mm -hmm. offer a tea whatever it is that comes don't offer a tea mm -hmm. <laughs> and cookies don't give it cookies and tea so but sometimes it sneaks and gets a cookie so then it stays a little longer mm -hmm. but oh my gosh there is more a focus on when it just flows through than on those moments where whatever comes through takes a cookie and a tea and wants to mm -hmm. stay for a bit longer. Yeah. But all those experiences, of course, they there's just not so much grip on it. Yeah. And maybe and it's not, and maybe it's not not what I see for myself. It's not taken taken so serious. Absolutely, that's that's another. You know, it's yeah. not so serious. There is there is just that deep deep knowing in us that, gosh, it comes and it goes and it has its own timing. There's not much you can do. And you're just here and you're grateful oh, when you see it. It's like that surrender. It's like, oh my God, thank you, thank you. It becomes very, very simple. Everything becomes very simple. Yeah, but even though... Yeah. Uh, oh, because I say like, and even, maybe it's not taking taken so serious even though I can see of feeling like yeah I was a little bit how to say that I was a little bit surprised because a few days ago there came so much sadness again mm -hmm. you know so much crying and sadness and um, and okay it's coming tears are coming crying and it's good mm -hmm. to be on my own then and that it just yeah. will never come out and uh, okay and then two days later or something okay then it's i'm in an other mo mood again you know it's yes. it totally feels different yes and i was so much really aware of like wow this this waves of sensations and and uh, feelings and thoughts it's really um <laughs> it's, it's changing all the time yes. but at the same time when you are there when i was there it it felt very real all this grief and that it came out it's absolutely it, it's it it felt very much like it 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 was very ah so such a relief that it could come out and that i that it i did i did not do that but uh, that it so that at that moment it's you take it serious there is seriousness about it because otherwise it's it it cannot come out you know something um, yes yes but there's at the same time also, mm. the space mm. where it can come. Mm. Mm -hmm. ah. And I'm not sure if you're aware of that too, that there's the space that mm. it can just do its thing and, you know, whatever all these eyes and identities are, are when, they, when there is a recognition of that space, what I'm noticing then is like, okay, okay. Okay, let it do its thing. Let it do its uh, thing. Okay. It's like, okay, okay. Maybe there's a little bit of resistance here and there, but then even to that, okay, this resistance is it's okay. It's kind of how the space mm. responds. It's just, it's, I'm here. Yeah. Even for this, even for this, letting it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's interesting that you say that <clears throat> because maybe at 
I'm not so aware of the space then. Yes. And, and then yeah. it, it it it's more. Yeah. It becomes more. Then it can become more story, and you are get drowned in it. You can say exactly. Then uh, it becomes identity, like a yeah. an entity. Even it becomes like a being. Mm. Then you know that then we talk like I I am grieving. I am I am I am I am I am. You know that contraction in a way. You know. Yeah. And it's not to dismiss it. It's just if you can recognize the space that it's happening in. Uh, in my experience, all of a sudden the edges of those identities they soften. Mm -hmm. It's like it's it's like oh, as if you come into your mother's arms. You know, as uh, I don't know if that image is appropriate for you, but you know, it's like. Ah, oh, as even as a physicality is like, oh, I, I'm leaning into it. it's so painful, but oh, thanks for your arms, Sandra. It's yeah. so painful, it's ripping, but here I am. Oh, thank you for holding me. Yeah. So it is both at the same time. It's yeah. And until it flows through and all of a sudden there you are again in in a different chemical cocktail. <laughs> mm. so it's nice if maybe even if another physical form is there another friend or you know a beloved whatever where oh grief is coming to visit oh you know, mm. tears coming to visit oh nothing more beautiful it makes it immediately it softens the edges, at least in my experience. When, yeah, mm. because mm. I mean, grief is powerful. Grief, oh my gosh! If grief mm. comes to visit, and you're all alone with that, it's you know not the easiest to notice also the space in which it's all happening. So mm -hmm. just. Just that you know, it's not the easiest, and it yeah. can feel very, very lonely, very, yeah. very lonely. Yeah. So, yeah, until it's over again, and then you see clearly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful how you say that. Like, if grief comes to visit you. That's mm -hmm. totally something different than I can see that sometimes it's it's like that. Then grief comes to visit you. That very quickly the mind goes in a, in a kind of uh, story about mm -hmm. it, what it is, uh, blah blah blah. This whole this whole package. Yeah, it so wants to have the mind because yeah. grief grief can be unbearable, Ellen. I mean, you know yeah. that. Yeah. Grief, oh my gosh. And then especially when you as a body form are all alone with it. Yeah. It's, oh my God. You want to mm -hmm. just curl up somewhere and disappear. It's, yeah. Oof, getting goosebumps all over. So, you know, so I'm glad you mentioned what happened actually, that it mm -hmm. came to it. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's full, full, full on. Mm. And it can be, it can feel, it can come with the feeling of, gosh, I'm all alone and I don't know how to do this. Mm. Mm. For so many, you know, who have lost beloveds, you know, children or other beloveds, I'm just closeness with, with someone, even with animals, it's with whatever. It can be to go through that is quite a challenge, I would say. So yeah, because I'm also I was a little bit surprised that it came so heavily because some you know sometimes I feel Milo very much with me and it's yeah. just okay, yeah. but now it was so heavy and I 
I miss him so much and I miss this whole family and, and the relation relating with time and it was really yeah. like a <laughs> tornado you yeah. can say like uh, and yeah in a way I'm a little bit and I saw there was a little bit confusion like okay is the mind now making stories about it you know or is it just but it mm -hmm. was it was this physical just that he's sitting next to us that I can hear his voice that I can hold him that he that that the family is together that we are with but it's all of course gone <laughs> and yeah. I'm aware of in a way he's still with us but there's also this physical um, grief and pain and that's absolutely Absolutely. The family is ripped out of mm. yeah. there, it's, there is no family more anymore in that way you can say yeah. it's really yeah. like sometimes it's really like wow it mm. kicks in uh, yeah and um, uh, yeah. yeah yeah that's the yeah. reality you know in a it's, way mm. that's how it is that's how it is. A lot of yeah. lost. Absolutely. That's how it mm. is, yeah. That's how yeah. It, no. That's how it also is. Let's say it like that. Also it's an, is. Okay. It's yeah. an aspect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, can't dismiss mm. it. As you can see it just whoop, it comes in like that out of the blue. A visitor that's not expected, and then there it is. So yeah, got to go through that then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've heard mm -hmm. so many parents or people that have experienced that, and they say it doesn't matter how much time is gone, it just comes out, the, out of the blue. And I don't know if it's like that for everybody, but it's like that for a lot of people. So just mm. so you no, know, it's nothing unusual. Mm. Nothing. You you are in a way you are lucky that it maybe took only two days. Or... <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And the, um. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's something else. What has to do with it? Can I just say, yeah? I... Yes, yes, please. Okay. Um. Maybe that sometimes gives some also brings a little bit confusion because I spoke with Isaac about it, and then the, he was telling this story about uh uh uh. uh just a story about somebody who had grief and grief and then uh, that um, um, that this person went to uh, Papaji, I, I believe, or Ramana, I don't know, and um, and that uh, that the grief is a kind of of way to uh, to hold on. To mm. somebody or to feel mm. or to connect, yeah. yeah, and um, in a way, I could see this also brought a confusion like, mm. uh, okay, I should not have grief or something. I feel, uh, okay. uh, I, I feel it's it's a kind of okay, uh, so it has to be uh, uh, without, <laughs> yeah. Without of to be over because otherwise mm. you are not aware or something. Mm. I, I don't know. It's it's a kind of a tricky thing, you know. I can see that like mm. Mm. and also like in this awareness you can say like uh, okay, who is Milo, who are you, who I am, who am yeah. I? All this yeah. spiritual talk in a way. Yeah. Eh? I yes. It also brings a kind of um, 
Um, mm. Like it's not acknowledged. Mm. Or it's you. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's, I find it, it, it's, it's interesting. It's, uh, I find it wonderful that you bring it and how you bring it. So, you know, how I see it, you know, every conversation and every mm -hmm. example we bring is kind of a pointer. Mm -hmm. but, but it is not static. You know, mm -hmm. it's not it's just, it's just one little piece of the truth and you see just where it touches so for you it touched actually something to explore which is oh man how wonderful is that mm. it's like okay it doesn't address actually the physicality that's yeah. what i'm here yeah so, yeah ah isn't it wonderful so instead of you know it's again it's just a pointer so there's yeah. no right wrong yeah. in it but okay, for for me, for I actually really like to include the physicality, for example, you know. Mm -hmm. So this comes to visit and how you know I know I know beyond this experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How there is that which we can't, it's untouchable, we can't touch it with the yeah. mind. And then on the other side, if there is an other side, there's all this experience and there's physicality, there's yeah. body feelings, yeah. oh my God, the senses, my God, I mean, just taste, mm. taste this, it's like, mm. 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 if everything of you is with it, mm, mm. it brings you right into this moment. Mm -hmm. So maybe that is the invitation of the physicality, you know, yeah. the sense. It's like right here, now sadness comes to visit. Oof. Okay, going with that, feeling the resistance to it, feeling all of that that wants to contract, feeling all of it that makes an identity. And here at the same time, in this moment, no idea no idea of how it should be, of how it could be, mm. just here. Just, I mean, it becomes very, very simple mm -hmm. and ordinary. It's yeah. like, you know, there is no room actually for thought and confusion and figuring it out when it is really fully here. Yeah. And then you can say, if you want to, okay, there's physicality, there's experience, and there's also, I have no clue. Yeah. So that it's kind of all of it at the same time. And then it kind of, as if it goes in slow motion, you know, sometimes you find yourself in grief and sometimes you find yourself in space. Yeah. And then everything in between. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just the truth of this system. All of a sudden it contracts out of the blue. There's just oh, the gratitude for that it can see, whoa, this is what's happening right now. And until that lets loose again and it finds itself in a space where we are right now. But there's physicality. As long as there's experience, there's physicality, isn't it? Because, you know, without the senses, yeah. you can't experience. And without body, you can't even speak. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's yeah. like we can't, would not be able to have this exchange, isn't it? Mm. So in a certain way, there's just from where I'm looking, and you have to look for yourself, there's everything at the same time and life slows it in a certain way a bit down sometimes but yeah. i can't say that there is a a one-way thing there is just all of it at the same time <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so 
you know, I mean, I don't know the conversation that you had with Isaac, but I think it has been a very, very beautiful pointer to what is interesting to you. Yeah. Like, oh, in this example, I can't really feel or find the physicality, and that is important for me too. It is so, interesting to see when I speak about it. I just hmm. see, I at the same time, I feel the, these sensations here. Yes. It, Kind of angry anger anger is there also. Yeah. It's funny yeah. to to, hmm. to... <laughs> yeah. And then let anger Yeah 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 yeah. Visit. yeah. So does anger need to get stuck or can it move well, through? Yeah. No, yeah, it's uh isn't that fantastic? No, but it's beautiful that you say this uh, you know I'm this phys physicality and it has to do with this physicality this this in the body how yeah, the sensations too. in the body how how it sometimes can feel in the body because sometimes it feels like some body part is ripped off or something like that without the body feeling would not be possible yeah yes so it's just like that isn't it yeah 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 i mean if we can say, you know, even in deep sleep, there is not much of a feeling. Whatever happens there in deep sleep, but there's no feeling. In this kind mm -hmm. of wake state, there's mm -hmm. this. Then, mm -hmm. you know, ah, it's it's kind of, you know, making statements. is I find it quite dangerous in a certain way because yeah. that introduces to the mind, to the conceptual mind, yeah. It introduces that it could be a certain way. Yeah, yeah. But for uh, it's it just if you look at it all, ah, uh, it isn't a certain way. It mm. is just experience is changing mm. all the time. Yeah, all can't, the time. Can't hold on to anything. Try. <laughs> I mean, oh gosh, when you have this. It's like even when there's happiness or bliss or what, oh, and you, there's awareness of it. And then, oh, oh it's gone, <laughs> gone, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it just moves constantly. Yeah, yeah it's amazing, yeah, how, how it, how it, and it's very and you, beautiful to, to, to be aware of it. Yes, it, that it, is it, grace. It's very beautiful that it's really grace because then it's, doesn't catch you so much in a way exactly. then it's like you know yeah. there's noticing of the space too by chance yes, because you can't really do it you can't it seems like you can do it but you actually you can't i don't know why we are so lucky when we yeah. come together that we yeah can enter that kind of space i i have no clue how that happens but man are we lucky huh yeah it could be oh. that, yeah, that we are caught up in the contraction of those entities all the time. It's like oh, yeah. you, see, you see that everywhere. <laughs> Whoa! So, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm <laughs> so so. It's so beautiful. I'm so aware of it when it when it when it. Sometimes I see. I go in this en entity. You can say. Yeah. Yes. Yesterday on the phone, I had a fight with somebody. It was really crazy. Afterwards, yeah. I was, I was kind of surprised. Like, wow, what yeah. was that? I was totally in it. You know, it's, wow, man. At the yes. same time that it happens, I'm aware of it that it is happening. Yeah, but, far out. And, but so it's not so serious. But still, it's it's happening. But uh, ah. yeah. yeah, it's very beautiful to 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 be aware of that you are in this space and that all this movements are happening in this space but at the same time this space is number one in a way yeah. and the space is somehow untouched isn't it yeah. oh yeah funny to say it but it but it doesn't mean that it's not that it's cold you know untouched sounds so so away in a certain way, but it's not. Oh man, it's just oh, yeah. poetry. Let's you know then then just read Paul, Rumi or Hafiz or these beautiful people. Then 
Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. They talk about the beloved that touches it somehow. Mm. Because it's absolutely difficult for the mind to grasp what is going on here. The mind can't. It just can't. But the physicality is actually something different in a certain way, you know, because it is so fine. It is sensitive. It feels. Mm -hmm. I mean, all those senses, isn't that, you know, when you walk barefoot mm -hmm. through the grass in the spring, for example, and the grass is a bit longer and it's maybe moist in the morning or, you know, when the sun comes out and all of a sudden you feel the warmth on your skin or, you know, when the birds start in the morning to, to do their songs one after the other in Europe, I remember they all have their different times. Or, gosh, when you feel water on your skin, or, yeah, oh, out, oh, what this instrument, how sensual it is, or a smell, you know, then you walk somewhere and all of a sudden a scent comes in, you don't even, you look, where does it, does it come from? Or, I mean, oh. So if we can walk like this through life, huh? it's like that gets us, that keeps us right here, mm. right here. every moment, fresh now, with senses awake here, present, with body, with body. I mean, what a creation, you know? Who did that? Just, where, how, where, what? I mean, it's a it's a trip, isn't it? Yeah, see that you want to stretch and then you <laughs> When you talk about it, when you talk about it like that, it's really like, oh, wow, it's really uh, opening up the whole system and the sensitivity and the sensitivity. And the... So glad to hear. Oh. Just imagine we would meet everything, everyone with all those senses yeah. open. Every moment, actually, every moment, just now, 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 mm, kind of. Mm. I mean, that's what I see. That's what it is about for my personal system, if there is something like that. Gosh, using, see, then it's also as if presence arrives. It's like, but if it goes into the mental thing, it's like, oh, I don't really want to be here. But the moment the senses, the physicality is included mm -hmm. and inhabited in a way, and it can do what it needs to do, what it can do. Oh my God, it's nothing more beautiful. You, you're full, you don't even need to move sometimes. Body will move. When it's uncomfortable, you know, because we're not so made for sitting, so we will do stuff. But mm, the taste, the taste of of life <clears throat> is is a different one. Another thing with that, and you notice that too, when the senses are more in the foreground, it gets quiet. Yeah, for sure. Totally. Totally gets quiet. It gets quiet. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. It's like everything opens up in the body, like, pshh, and it it's gets a... getting really, whoa, so wide. And it's, it's, oh, yes. it's so, it's so, uh, yeah. yeah. Soft and sweet. And, uh, so, body is something absolutely yeah. amazing. What, I mean, what an incredible gift in yeah. certain, that there is otherwise we wouldn't have that we would not speak i mean you know we can't even say maybe it's like deep sleep i don't know i really don't know i can't say it's like i know only this <laughs> mm. um, this is so central here gosh it's yeah anything that, else? and is i also can see like when this when just this grief came out and deep crying, then afterwards, you know, it's the same. We see just how the body cleans it up in a way, and then it's so much open again. 
and so sensitive again, you know, so it's like uh, in, in, in my system, I just can see when it can express itself by yeah. whatever, dance, theater, uh, crying, what, whatever wants to happen, sexuality also. And yes. then it's really, and then it gets so open and so sensitive, this, this whole, yeah. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, nearly like childlike only that there is also this kind of awareness but you yeah. see how children yeah how children are we having uh the babies here from um isaac's son is here with his yeah. little family so they're 10 months and and nearly three years old and it's just there is just responsiveness in a way, mm -hmm. there's just responding and reaching, and and then there's an awi, and then you do this, and, and then it's it just flows through. It's mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. Sometimes it gets a bit stuck, and you see that too. There's not much you can do when it's over. There it is, starts all over fresh. There's no. It's so beautiful to see that with children. There's no holding onto anything it's just flowing and then you move on there's yeah. no talking about no memories it's quite amazing there might be memories of you know you you don't put your finger in the candle because that hurts you know there's a learning but that flow of gosh the senses are coming out and checking everything out and you know that you have you have watched your little one and others too so wow it's it's fantastic to watch how natural life actually mm, experiences and how it's responding to itself in an absolute innocent and delicious way like mm, all this and everything new everything fresh mm. Yes, and then it fills, huh? Yes. Oh, here. Just here. Wow. All of those experiences. Mm. Mm. So physicality is an amazing gift, I would say. Absolutely. I mean, you know, if, if you go a little further, so we are here on our big planet Earth spaceship, huh? <laughs> Cruising through space. I mean, woohoo! Woohoo! Yes. What the then that beautiful moon last night is full moon. Yeah. So, oh, every time that moon comes up, it's like, where does that come? I mean, and then it goes around and the sun comes up, the moon goes down, and the moon it's goes amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's fire in this earth in the center of the yeah. magnetic powers and I mean it's mm, too much for the mind at least for this little mind here mm -hmm. I am just in awe of the mystery let's say it like that it's uh, funny because now when we are funny now we talk you found this direction again for me because I could see, like, I my focus was a little bit on how fucked up, in a way, the world is with what is mm -hmm. going on now, you can see. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. It's really heavy time, and mm -hmm. it's really fucked up. But now, when we have this conversation, I see mm -hmm. my focus goes. Mm -hmm. It's also mm -hmm. still it's amazing, and... Mm -hmm. unbelievable yeah and uh, but uh, yeah at the same time it's also fucked up in a way what is going on yeah. but yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. And, you know, it's kind of, I guess, it depends on how we deal with that. So we can no. go with that, like, oh, it's all fucked up and, oh, gosh, yeah. I don't want to be here. I don't want to live anymore and everybody is so stupid and what. Or <laughs> can see what we are here for. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. at one point, and everyone has to find that for themselves, you know, what really go deep, really go to the source of who you are or wherever you find that answer. What is it? What is the passion of this system? What is it here for? What is the gift this system is bringing to this world? Mm -hmm. And don't get distracted. So, okay, you see it all, you see what's going on, so you're not blind, you're not stupid, mm -hmm. but you stay focused, you stay focused, you are here for this, whatever it is you're here for, mm -hmm. and that's what your focus is on. You're not getting distracted and sucked into the so-called fucked upness. Yeah. Yeah. That is one of the reasons why we need also to support each other. Because yeah. it is on. It's full on. So we've got to come back to that focus again and again. So that we, you know, that ah, so we have the support of each other. So this is what we're here for. And this is our mission. And we're not getting distracted and we're not blind. I love you. Thank you. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Big hug. <laughs> oh. Like like a dog, you know, hum, come <laughs> tongue right over your face. <laughs> yes. Very great conversation thank you oh fantastic a thank you a lot of information that i will listen back mm. yeah. thank you for bringing this and inspiring this mm. yeah. Dineke. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful invitation. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Huh? Mm. Mm. Wow. Yes, mm. I go for that. <laughs> yes, um, right, right by your side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I'm currently experiencing um so much contraction, mm. and um, it feels feels like an energetic fight. Something is going on, and um, um. It's very hard to stay in the body, to stay mm -hmm. present, to feel it and experience it, but also the wish to, of course, to release and get the body back into motion. Yeah. And, uh, well, actually, that is where I am. And, yeah. I and, love how you share this, Dineke. This is so beautiful. So there's awareness around all of that, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Experiencing that is making me sad. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's just, yeah. It's a touch. 
it actually feels like a beautiful touch. It doesn't feel like real sadness mm. to me. I'm not sure if I'm wrong, but it feels like just that it's acknowledged that you yeah, spoke that's true. to them. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a sweet, sweet touch. <laughs> And I understand your system is going through some hell rounds with that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I feel immediately like it's a change and something starts flowing. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's getting out of the ice or something. Yeah. It's there. I love how Ellen brought that in, you know, this feeling alone, huh? Yeah. But when it's like this, oh, wow, it's where can we go? It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. And you've done so much work, you know, you can see it's like we just speak a little, you, you can share and just that acknowledgement and our most beautiful field here that provides uh, yeah, a certain mm, just space in a way, you know, where it can feel safe. Because everybody knows this, kind of, you know, everyone in their own way. So then it can take a little breath, whatever that is, and come out of the aloneness. You've done so much work, Dimitri. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what for? <laughs> oh, the coughing. Yeah. Oh, it's just a uh, oh, focus. Yeah. Okay. I was also, I mean, you know, I was thinking it was flying through. Gosh, I wish I could sit right next to you body next to body and we just could have the arms around each other. Yeah. Yes, just like that. Just letting the bodies, you know, connect. Letting the bodies connect and let them do their thing. So, uh, is it possible that somebody does this, or is it a, my physical response to a certain situation? Is, is there something to understand about it, or is it just the experience? 
Yeah, you know, it depends on from where from where we speak. Yeah. You know, in a certain way it's it, it is just experience. But you know, when when there is suffering or anxiety or pain, it's very hard to speak like that. You know, because there's something that is an agony, you know, there's something that really would love attention, loving attention in a way. Clean, pure, loving attention. So we can't tell that. Oh, it's just an experience. You you see what I mean? It's like when the when a child falls over and has a, a wounded knee, or so, you, you can't just go and say, Oh, this is just an experience. Like, oh, yeah. That child will scream you, <laughs> will scream you in the home, you know. Like, that's so we let's see if we can meet it where if we can find out where this would love to be met. Let's see if it shows it gives gives us maybe a signal where because it would like to be met. That's very clear. It it shows that. Mm -hmm. So now it's like how how can we meet this in the most beautiful way so that it maybe finds a little bit of peace. Oh, that's nice. My system starts breathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we have no clue in a certain way. We just, but there's an openness in both of us. I can feel that in you. And here's definitely an openness. It's, my system is actually very, very curious. Mm. It's so, it so loves to meet intimately, you know, through the senses, like, ah, oh, you know, reaching. It loves that so, so much. Yeah, we need to give it space because then you know even us talking like this is like oh it gets a bit scary it's like what really somebody wanting to be there i don't know i need to remove myself a bit it's very very fine which is totally okay it's seen and acknowledged and my system is still here We've noticed and it just uh, stepped back a bit so that it wouldn't overstep boundaries but it didn't go away it's still totally awake here as much as it can say it like that mm. See, there's also another thing which is so beautiful. Sometimes just that there has been this exchange now, sometimes that is already enough. And so, oh, wow, actually it is possible to at least have a reach out for a moment, you know, and then you, it needs to be digested. You know, it's like a <laughs> huge... You know what I mean. Yeah, because your system is so, so, so fine, Dimitri. Mm -hmm. So fine. Questions also, but leave it here. Yeah. Did you say there were questions? Yeah. Yeah, come. Come with the questions. Well, I have to tell a story then. Okay. <laughs> so there's a communication with someone, and I really, really tried, you know, to do it as good as I could and then there was 
sort of saying goodbye and saying goodbye and saying well, very slowly, 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 slowly. And and this um, sort of ended completely yesterday. And from that moment on, my body is completely contracted. And it almost feels as if someone is cutting me off from my own life energy. And it's something so bad to say, but that's how it feels. That's how it feels. So, you know, what I find interesting, so there's definitely that aspect. Yeah. But there are also other aspects because, you know, there's, you know, the whole... I mean, the Range. Whole, <laughs> yes. Universes... Over universes, over galaxies of experience, you know, and somehow yeah. our channels one or the other, you know, it just, just comes. Sometimes it's grief, sometimes it's cut off from life, or, you know, whatever it is. So there we got to stay maybe focused, and we can do that together better than when we are alone. So, you know, where Ellen and I were sp speaking, it's like, what is it in this moment? What is it what you're here for? Using all the senses because you are so, so, so fine and sensitive. And staying with that rather than going with that one aspect that makes itself huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is the tendency in all of us. We all do it somehow. But I'm kind of, these days, me personally, you know, when this kind of stuff comes to visit, I'm just not interested in going there anymore. So I'd rather, and you know, kind of evolving in a way into what am I here for? And you were so beautiful in the beginning, you said, Oh, I love that. I'm going. I'll, I'll go with you. I want this too. So it's like how from whatever happened, you know, who knows if it's even just a memory from centuries back or if it's, we, we don't know. We just know that that really pulls your system sometimes into a spiral downwards into hell. Ah, oh, I'd like when you take a breath. And then let's just see, what's your passion again? What are you here for? You beautiful, beautiful being made by what this, this mystery. Well, that's so, it. <laughs> the beauty yeah. and the mystery. Yes. Yeah. And there you are. Yeah. You've got it, you know it immediately. That's your focus on that. Yeah. I know it's not always easy, but it is easy in this moment, and that's all you've got. That's all we have. Mm -hmm. It's like when this comes, maybe at one point, I mean, you know, I'm just talking from my own experience again, what my physical body has done. It, at one point it said, it's enough. I am not going there anymore. No way, it's done. Yeah. Out, 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 out. This is not healthy for me. What's my focus? What am I, what am I here for? Oh. oh, gosh. And then my senses come out. Whoa, it reaches. And it is a, it's a job at first. But it's time. It is really time for us to step into something new, something brand new that is exciting and passionate and interesting also, rather than these old spirals that especially sit, I mean, masculine too, but they sit also in these feminine bodies after being burned and raped and all that stuff. <laughs> had to go through over centuries, you know. 
it's time to say goodbye to that and yeah. step into what am I here for? What's the gift life gave this body system? What is it? Oh, let's let me go out into the world with this. And let's walk that together. There again, you know, that's that's also the new, not alone. Support each other in our passion with all the gifts everyone brings. Shaking that heaviness off. Mm. It's a big job. I know that. I know. From own experience, you know that. Yeah. That um, is also, even though, you know, the breath is there, there's also a sense of emptiness. And, I guess, grief or something. Mm. Yeah, you know, when there's the passion comes out, tell us again, what are you here for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell us about that. Yeah. Well, it's about exploring beauty and the, the mystery of life, really. How does it feel when you say it? <laughs> it feels beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. start wiggling and <laughs> it should be. It's just like that. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Grief might come to visit. Anxiety might come to visit. Mm -hmm. And then it's done. You look, what am I here for? Mystery, beauty, and all that wiggling. <laughs> you know, the movement. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to focus on that. You've got to mm -hmm. really strongly focus on that. It's my practice too, Dimika my personal practice to again and again when it comes trying to mm -hmm. suck me to whatever yes what am i here for oh nearly forgot for a moment nearly yeah. forgot and then mm -hmm. here i am here we are again Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Thanks for bringing this so vulnerably. Mm. 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 Judith. Ah. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here for where I am. I know for. your favorite subject. Ah, <laughs> 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 yes, yes, mm. yes. Ah, yes. <sighs> yeah. Since there is this experience, since there is this body experience, whatever, all the senses. Wow, man, let's make the best out of it, huh? Not that we have much of a choice, but somehow it plays like this, doesn't it? If, if, if we come into conversation like this, oh my gosh, it brightens up everything. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you here for? <laughs> <laughs> that I can see. <laughs> Let's start dancing. <laughs> mm. yeah. We are such beautiful beings, aren't we? You know, when, gosh, all those anxieties, all those confusions, oh man, that have been sucking on us since forever, when, when they're not so in the foreground, when... Yeah. Oh, those veils are opening. Oh, man, we are exquisite, aren't we? Divine beings. Mm. Mm.
Mm. And it's grateful, Miss. Huh? Just grateful, just grateful, just grateful. To have mm. this taste, then, eh? just to have this taste. Yes. Mm. Everything, that's just everything. To know this, to know this. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Adina. Can't hear you. Now? Now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And nobody else won, then I come. <laughs> Absolutely. I like that, Bettina. Yeah. <laughs> because nothing here, just an open heart and the, the love to hug. <laughs> Oh man, I'm receiving. Is that simply, simply, simplicity is noticed? Yeah, there's nothing else to do. Mind tries to earn oh, this, but this, but no, it's it's God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such beautiful sound coming out of you. <laughs> it can't believe it. Can't believe. Sitting a sixty-year-old woman here and crying like a baby and like a child. <laughs> yeah, but this crying is so sweet. It's <laughs> it's um, it's again like like Dean at the beginning, uh, yeah. just because that it's a touch. It's it's not it's a, a deep crying. touch always again and again. <laughs> Deep, deep, deep touch. It's the yeah. most exquisite. Yeah. It's present. It's fully here. It's like, ah, oh, it invites. It, it's coming in and in and in and in. It's filling. So beautiful. So don't that's stop. That's what it. I'm here for. Like you say, yeah. it's. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're here for. Yeah. So good to know that. Yeah. So good to know what you're here for. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Actually, it feels a bit unpleasant. It's like a cramp in the brain a bit. Yeah, yeah slow it down. Slow it down, but you know, yeah. it doesn't have to go so fast. You know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. For, these systems are quite dense. You know, they're a bit tight here and there. So if there's changes going on, Slow it down. Be a so ever so gentle. Yeah, see, yeah. it's that's yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, letting it breathe. They letting need it to breathe. remember that again and again. It's so needed <laughs> to slow down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're so welcome. It's such a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Don't even have to look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Oh, so, so, so sweet. So sweet, Bettina. <laughs> you always speak about going deeper and deeper and behind and behind and at the moment it feels like that but totally does go slow <laughs> the slower the better I know you know that so that you don't miss any detail Yeah, exactly. Oh, that sound. Did you feel it going through? Oh, oh my gosh, that hum. Mm -hmm. That softness is so beautiful. <laughs> and there's no hurry there's always a hurry in the system oh, I, <laughs> up until now up until now Is there really enough time for that? <laughs> it's all we've got, huh? It's yeah. all we've got. I mean, you know, we call it time, but it's just moment by moment by moment. Huh? Here we are. Nothing more important, huh? Well, <laughs> Especially when there's really the freshness of the moment experience then, gosh, every moment is brand new with whatever we do. So it doesn't matter. It's 
like as our system is drinking and arriving here. Every else's system that is responsive to this will settle too. It's creating a huge field of fairness. Mm-hmm. And that I has nothing to do. <laughs> that I just is out of the window. That I that has, I... A, totally, yeah, has <laughs> a totally different I, isn't it? It's like there's a all encompassing I. Like yes, no, I is not an I. <laughs> yeah, it just is. Yeah, just this just is. Business, nowness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, and you speak that so often, but it's now it's more felt. Yeah. You know, it in the body, like... in the <laughs> whole system. I can see. Wonderful. It's amazing how slow it could be. Yes, and it can be even slower, Bettina. Oh, yes, I think so, but but it's amazing now. (laughs) I know, I know, it's absolutely amazing. That's the beautiful thing, that it's never static, huh? You just, this is, uh, yeah, it's, you can't put it into a box. Mm. The mind tries to find words, but it's not possible. <laughs> Come up with words of mind. You know, there's also a different mind appears. That's my experience. It's as if um, it's more an intuitive mind, just speaks differently. It, it's it's not as conceptual. It speaks differently. It's a different mind yeah. when when hearing is is dominant. Yes, here's the, the word alone is mind al- allowing allowing mind. Mm. The mind isn't the mind. It's allowness. It's allowness here and then. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
this gratefulness for breathing. It's like a Gelenda. I could hold on and go with breathe, right. breathe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Thank you again and again and thank you all. <laughs> thank you, Bettina. Joy. I still need to get used to your new name. I want to say Carrie Lee, and I saw it there on the. I know. It's a bit confusing. It hasn't changed. You can call me, yeah. I don't know. What, whatever comes easy. I just. Oh. Oh, wait one second. I didn't get you on the screen yet. Ah. Uh, Okay, now I've got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to visit her with me. <laughs> Let's see, put it oh. down. <laughs> Just need to shut the door real quick. <laughs> I I've made a big decision. And, um, it's a hard one, but yeah. um, step forward with finding a nursing home for Tony. Mm. And uh, of course, there's a lot of pain with that. 
Let's go back to me. Um, and I feel it's the right time. Uh, but doubts come. And um, yesterday he got lost. He, he went for a walk and he didn't come home. Mm. And he got lost and the family and I went searching for him. And then we had to get the police involved. Mm. And then a helicopter was sent out to find him. And they did find him after three hours. Mm. He was found. Yeah, but it was also another confirmation for me that um, it's not secure for him to be here with me anymore. And it's too much for me. I have to find a place for him fairly quickly yeah. now. Yeah. There are nice and places around in Perth. It looks like I might have two places available for me very, fairly oh, soon. I'm going to see them this oh, week. Right. Yeah, right. so it's it feels kind of miraculous that they've been offered because it's very hard to get into places. And yes, um, I do feel like the support is coming in for this decision. Yeah, um, and it is the right time, but my heart is breaking. At the same time, yeah, yes. a lot of grief, and it's just about facing that as well. You know, yeah, um, and I'm shaking about it. But I'm. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. just very exhausted. So um, yeah. that comes into it as well. You know, I'm very tired from taking care of him for a long time. Of course you are. It's a day and night job. Twenty four seven for years. So this relief insight for me, which I'm looking forward to. Mm. But yeah. yeah, I just wanted to share that. That's where I'm at with this journey right now. Mm. Thank you so much for sharing. And wow, I'm absolutely amazed how you've done it for years now and that you know that now is the point to go a different way. You can visit him. You can visit him yeah. every day. You know, it's, it's not, you can take him to family and all those things. You still can do mm. that. Just that yeah. you get a bit of peace. Yeah. That's right. It's really healthy to know when to do the next step. It's very, very, very healthy. Not everybody knows the when the step is necessary. Yeah, I've got the family support, his family, oh. um, and my friends, they're all saying, yeah. yes, this is the time, and the doctor, so it's yeah. clear. That I'm not yes. the only one making this decision. Um, yeah. Wonderful. I'm very, very happy to hear that you've got the support. Yeah. So, and of course, it's a huge step. It's a huge it is step. A huge step. <laughs> you will get used to that too. Mm. That's, that's for sure. You know, it's always, it's a big decision. It's a big decision. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's at first, it's always kind of, gosh, is it all right to do it? And, you know, all those little doubts and maybe not come can come in and, you know, am I a good person still? And, you know, all those things. But I mm. think you've done absolutely amazing. And I'm glad that you've got the support of the family and the doctor. Thank you. I feel I've done everything I could for as long as I can. Oh, and, um, absolutely. You know... This is as far as I can go. Yeah, Even so. for Tony, you know, if he would have the right mind still or the other mind, he would have said the same. I know that. He 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 still has some awareness of that and it is what he okay. wants. But emotionally it's going to be very difficult for him. But mm -hmm. of course it's difficult for all of us to take the step together. Him for his path and me for my path. But that's just the journey, I mean, it's unescapable that it's yeah. going to bring up strong feelings for all of us. And, yes. And his children, his girls, his daughters, his sisters, yeah. his brothers, you know, we're all we're all yeah. feeling this journey with him. Yeah. And watching his brain de decline and deteriorate more and more, it's, yeah. it's very sad. 
It is. Yeah. Mm. So, mm. No. No. She's so raw. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so yeah, I get it. Mm. Not a grief. Mm. I've been child. holding on and protecting him for so long. Mm. He's been like my child. Just yeah. a handy moment. It's a little hard, you know. I will, but it is hard. To an institution mm. where I don't really know the people, but Mm. I'm just going to have to trust, you know. And... You will go to get to know them all, and you will also see if it's the right place for him. Um. You no, know, so, and then thank God that there are institutions so that you don't have to sit with that all by yourself. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's yeah. too much for one person. <laughs> Absolutely too much for one person. And I, I just, I really do want my life back. I just, of course, I want this person to be able to just live her life without taking care of someone anymore. Yeah. That much, anyway. That much, yes. I mean, yeah. you, you can do a certain thing, but the twenty-four-seven is is a full-on job, and you're on alert. You know, you're on alert. You know, if he's. I don't kind of feel my nervous system ever relaxes in the house with him. It's always on guard. It's always listening for that movement, his need, his his proper body. You know, I'm never, ever able to completely relax. And, and my nervous system is exhausted from that. Um, I don't, I can't keep doing that. I'm always half, yeah. half awake, you know, half like, Jumping out of my bed at night when he moves, when he goes to the toilet, checking in, and you know, yeah. that I'm that will be a absolutely. relief to have that stop. Absolutely, yeah, it will be a huge relief. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Do you know when he can go into a nursing or uh, in the institution, into a home? Uh, look, I. This is all miraculous to me because usually you wait months and months and sometimes yeah. a year. And yeah. two places have become available just yeah. recently, very close, and both sound possible, possibly to be very good. And they've been offered to me. I just can't believe how fast it's all happening. So there you go. And yeah. I, I just feel that it's it's happening because it's meant to happen and Absolutely. support is coming in and one of them... Sounds mm. very beautiful. It's got a mm. little set up where they have little cottages where eight people live in the cottage together. It's only dementia specific. They have a communal lounge and kitchen and they live like a little family. Oh wow. And they have eight eight little cottages in this community and it's been designed just for dementia specific people. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. With a management that's very loving and caring. Mm -hmm. And it's got a very Good reputation and places come up in it very rarely. There's only 44 people living there. And mm -hmm. they're holding a spot for him right now for me to go and see it. But it's got COVID at the moment, so I have to wait for the COVID update to finish okay. before I can go yeah. in. But yeah, in the next two weeks. And Far they out. do all the things that I like to see. They do music therapy, they take them on tours, they do activities for them. Yeah. It's sounding positive, it's sounding really good. So I'll check it out in the next two weeks and make a decision. Yeah. Let us know. I will. I like to know. I really like yeah. to know. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Love you, Tony. Mm. Thanks for sharing. Please share with Isaac, let him know what's happening. Yes. Because he asked. Mm. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. <laughs>
Sandra. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> was really difficult to raise my hand this time. There is mm -hmm. lots of business happening. It's like um, there's physical and mental tiredness because it's been very, very stressful during the last weeks. And yeah. And when you say, what am I here for? Of course, I'm still searching for what am I here for? <laughs> <laughs> right, but it feels just like uh, being in this machine of now it's the two hours I can enjoy, but there's in the mind this, but after the two hours, this, 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 and this needs to be done. Yeah. And it's so difficult to uh, just enjoy the here, the moment with. Yeah out these thoughts you know it's just so oh and this physical pain in the belly and the busy mind and uh mm. Mm. not feeling fine at all mm. well let's just you know if we have a few moments let's just see if we can include the senses you know like the taste on your tongue See if you can get a sense of how it's, you know, there's some fluid, some saliva in your mouth. And, mm, just getting a feel of that. Mm. <laughs> Here comes the breath immediately. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you know, the tongue came out a little. Mm -hmm. that? There she was. Um, yeah, the air going in through the nose and came out of the mouth. Um, <sighs> that the body does that, huh? takes in air and does that whole process in the lungs and stuff goes into the the blood and some comes and something comes out again. You do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the sounds also. And those ears kind of re receive waves. And those waves are perceived as sounds. I mean, it's quite awesome, isn't it? Yeah, oh, and then you hear the mm, mm, making a sound. <laughs> How that goes through the whole system. Mm. Mm. Mm, and then eyes. Mm, I'm just seeing your beautiful red sweater. What a color, what a color and patterns. I see those fine patterns in there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> oh, then feeling that hand go over your eyes and face, feeling that skin on skin. 
delicious. Mm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> mm. That's what you're going to do this Saturday. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Nurturing the senses, everyone. <laughs> That's some beautiful things for in the mouth. Some tape. And staying with that, that keeps you right here, including the senses, keeps you right here. <laughs> mm. Feeling that hum mm. vibrating whole body. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like reanimation. <laughs> yes. It is. Yeah. And it gets you out of the mind immediately. And it's so natural to you. <laughs> so natural. <laughs> Even there, some tickle in my throat. Enjoying mm -hmm. that. Mm. Body reacts immediately, does that. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make that the job for today. That's what you have to do today. Mm. Savoring every sense you can go through, every each one. Oh, the sound waves come in. Mm, all that. Yeah, that. Did you feel that on your nose? <laughs> your hair there? It was right on your nose. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for reminding and teaching again. Oh, I'm so glad that hand came up by itself. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lots of love. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. My beautiful, beautiful beloveds. Mm. Wishing you all a most beautiful day. Mm. Until we meet again. Mm. Shall we?